Well, hello there, motherfuckers. And as promised, here's my response video to the What Culture video. Ten times wrestlers were broken in the hard way. So, you know, when it comes to What Culture, I said I have, like, mixed feelings towards them. They have a very entertaining presentation style. I like the way they make videos with the top ten lists. Um, and I like Simon the best. He's the only guy I like on that channel, by the way. Uh, Simon is a wrestler. He's got a nice build. He's got a nice personality. I like the way he presents himself. And don't get it twisted. The guy is a smart. He is. But he's so less smarky than all the beta males on that channel. Holy shit. Like, you take a look at some of these guys, like Jules and everything, and I swear to God, they look like guys at the Starbucks ordering soy lattes. I mean, like with the beanies on and shit. Like, uh, these guys, like, where did they get these guys? Like, I, 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 like, at least Adam was like, I never understood how, that guy was a wrestler, right? Remember the Adam who, who always used to do videos? Um, I used to watch him. He was entertaining, but, he was very SJW-y towards the end. Uh, you know, I, I remember, like, uh, when he was doing videos and they had to touch on the, the topic of, like, Trump, uh, you know, for, like, WrestleMania um, 23, was it? He, you know, he, he started, like, going off on a tangent in the videos. I was like, oh, my God. Then he ended up leaving, and it was for the best because Simon has done a lot for this channel. It's just a shame that every single time they do a video that it can't be Simon. Because he, he is good and he does good presentation. And he's the only one who is not a beta on there. Um, I mean, you look at these guys and you also listen to them. And they're just... like There's a bunch of other Adams also on this channel. Like Everyone's called Adam. That guy's Adam. He's Adam. That guy's... You know, I, I mean, like... All of them. I listen to them and I also... Their opinions shine through. At least like with Simon. He has a, an appreciation for the Attitude Era. He has appreciation for some of the old school. Um, and he doesn't come across as an annoying smart. He's like a, a, a diet smart. Kind of like... He's not in your face like smarky SJW type of smart. You know. Um, but all the others on the channel are. So... He did this video, and it was probably the best thing for them to choose him to do it, since he is a wrestler himself. I think he's the only one on the channel who is a wrestler now. So it's a good thing, because if any of the other ones did it, I'd probably just lambaste the shit even harder. But I listened to this video, and they talk about how Hulk Hogan was training in Japan and everything, and... Just how all these wrestlers were broken in the hard way. They talked about like uh, Matt Capitelli. They talked about um, you know a few like Daniel Pewter. All these other wrestlers like coming in and you know like here's the thing about some of these wrestlers um, like with Hardcore Holly. You know chopping the shit out of um, you know Capitelli. You know stomping on him in the corner and everything like that. Um, you know, it, it seems like, like a bad thing and, and it is, it seems like very abusive and all that. And I can't really say that I sit here and say, I condone it, you know, and say like, you know, it's okay to beat these guys up, you know, it's okay to try to injure them uh, and all that on purpose as a way of trying to, you know, make them pay their dues for them to get a dose of reality. All I'm saying is this, is that today's current crop, where it's squeaky clean, you know, and they don't have to worry about mean old people like build the mod and everything, you know, um, and Jim Cornette, for example. But I will say this, when those, you know, they don't have to worry about them like bullying them, slapping you and beating you up and all that because they've removed all that, Right. So now it's like positive reinforcement. Everyone's a winner, right? It's kind of like, you know, everybody gets the participation trophy now. Everybody feels important. And you take a look at the performance center. 
And you saw, remember, like, oh, I talked about in my SmackDown review, right? We, again, I touched on it. When Charlotte was there talking to all the hopefuls at the performance center, and I said none of those girls even stood out. They didn't look like anything. So all of them are going to get this, like, pampered treatment. Triple H is there hugging the wrestlers. I hope you. Everyone's a winner and all that. And then you think back to, like, say a hardcore Holly. Where this guy came up the hard way, you know, he, he paid his dues and everything like that. And Triple H, like, this is what I'm saying. Triple H trained under Killer Kowalski, where he got his ass fucking handed to him. And then you talk about j people that trained under Joey Rods, like Taz and everything. These guys got the shit beat out of them. They were stiffed. They came out and they were some of the biggest badasses you've ever fucking seen. So, you know, like Stone Cold will tell you, just like when these guys are trained, it was a whole different way. It was a whole different ball game. So, you know, that was actually a pretty positive outcome when you kind of think about it. Now, you can't really agree that like this is a positive thing beating the shit out of people. But you also got to remember, it's a different like ball game. Like that's understandable if you were going for a normal like job like working in an office or something like that but like if you're if you're going to be a professional wrestler you gotta understand it like it's a different world it's a whole different universe it's a different realm uh you, you know you're being trained to portray a character you gotta be tough you're getting your ass handed to you every single night you're on the road that takes a certain type of individual that takes a certain type of human being you have to have a certain mindset and you know when you get into it you see like with like a lot of these wrestlers like with matt capitelli like you know god rest his soul uh, you know you know and we want to talk about like oh now it's horrible they made you know simon kind of like made hardcore holly look like a, a, a real like like fucking asshole because oh now he's dead and you know now hardcore holly should be remorseful it's it's like because he was joking around and everything he was saying that he could kick hardcore holly's ass right away so hardcore holly sort of like he was not taking it seriously and that's why what happened happen to him so you you kind of need to take that into account it's all very easy for us to sit back in our computer chairs and judge these wrestlers and call them assholes and say like oh because first of all take a look at all the wrestlers that are coming out like the finn battles and everything okay so maybe they they got stiffed up in japan and all that stuff but it's a a very very different environment now none of these wrestlers are tough guys everyone kind of you know, you, you saw when Kevin Owens won the, the Universal Championship, Triple H was like hugging him backstage, you know, Vince is hugging him. It's like it wasn't back. You know, when when Stone Cold won the title, no one hugged him. You know, when even when Shawn Michaels won the title, you know, he might have bent down in the ring and cried a little bit. But, you know, it, it was kind of an emotional moment. It was a WrestleMania. It was a lot of build up. It, it, you know, so... I look at the performance center now with with it being free from any ooh mean bullies like build them out of hardcore holly and and I look back at like you know what Ronda Rousey talked about in Raw like these SJWs these millennial uh, you know having it all you know uh, very cushy down there just being able to kind of learn how to wrestle and memorize spots and everything and not having to have a hard edge to you and everything like that the old school is dead and gone they're not going to do business that way anymore the performance center is a safe space <laughs> when you think about it it really is it's like when you're in this safe space it's not like the dojos in japan it's not like old school tough enough with hardcore holly and bill demott no it, it it's not like killer kowalski or or joey rods or anybody like that not at all not even close these wrestlers have it so fucking cushy now they, you know they're they're gonna get hugged after every match they're gonna get a pat on the head they're gonna get a fucking cookie and a glass of milk for doing a good job out there for memorizing all their spots and almost breaking their fucking neck if anything because of that positive reinforcement wrestlers are actually gonna get even more injured now i mean 
Look, you know, look at how they're training these people now. I talked about in my SmackDown review, Becky Lynch with her concussion, Zelina Vega with her concussion, rumors that Alexa Bliss it, it might have to retire. Um, you, you, you have Paige retiring at the beginning of the year. I mean, like, you know, what Hardcore Holly and Bill DeMott were doing to these wrestlers was, was pretty light stuff in comparison. No one's career was being ended. There wasn't any serious fucking injuries of this caliber. So, I gotta say, Simon, when, when, when I take a look at your video and I look at all these different examples here and you're kind of shining a negative light on a lot of these people saying like, oh, they were a bunch of bullies and there was no call for these actions and nowadays there's no place for this. It's because the Performance Center is a safe space. They, they, you know, they, they've, they've cleaned it up but it's like at the end of the day, there was a reason why these wrestlers did what they did. Because they were trying to help these people. They were trying to pass down the knowledge to the other wrestlers. So, you know, they could have a cutting edge. They would stand a chance. They would have a tougher mentality. They they would want to get ahead. They would not accept the status quo. And now you see it's like all these wrestlers, they're scared to speak up. They're cowardly. You know, no one's characters progressing. That's because... It's everyone's a yes man. Everyone is, you know, just wants to get a hug from Triple H. They're not concerned about their own careers. They're not concerned about, you know, what's doing, you know, the best business for them. It's like, oh, I don't want to offend the other person. It, it, it really is. I mean, that's what it is at the end of the day. It, it really is. That all these wrestlers, they're a bunch of SJWs. They're, they're all, like, scared of, like, stepping on each other's toes. It's nothing like how it used to be where it was, like, you know, cutthroat. Like, yeah, I'm going to get to the top. No, I'm going to get to the And it really, like, felt awesome. It doesn't feel awesome anymore. It feels lame. It feels very, very beta. It feels very, very uh, watered down. And that's what we're getting nowadays. We're not getting a good product. And I think it has a lot to do with how these wrestlers are being treated. It's funny because once they get there, you know, they shit on them. But when they're bringing them up in NXT, it's like, yay! Like, so it's like, you know, it, it, the hey ho age is here. And, 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 you know, the, the badass age is over and done with. That's why when people are comparing Becky Lynch to Stone Cold Steve Austin, I laugh. And that's why, once again, I was right. Because on SmackDown, she was hugging Charlotte. Some badass, right? Yeah, so there you go. That's my little response to, uh, to Simon of what culture. And, you know, sorry, don't agree with you. I like you, Simon, but... You know, the video, it was enjoyable to watch, but I disagreed greatly. So if you agree with me and you enjoy what you saw here, please hit a thumbs up. If you didn't, please hit a thumbs down and tell me why. You can subscribe, hit the bell so you get all the notifications when I post all my new content. Check out some of the other videos I have posted here. And this has been your YWC Champ, and I'm signing out.